What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. So they did this amazing study in 1996, and people talk about it all the time to this day. That is that you can be an untrained guy on steroids, on steroids, and make better gains than a trained guy without steroids. Now this study showed us a lot. Well, it showed us, remember, when I was a kid, man, they actually told you steroids don't work. They don't work. And then you're like, oh, what about Rich Kaspari? Right, like they work, steroids work, but do they work that well where you don't have to train? And I think all of us know somebody who takes juice and doesn't make any gains. One widely known guy is named Togi, takes more gear than I've ever taken. He probably takes more gear in a cycle than I've taken my entire life, yet he's still small. And I say that not to make fun of him, he even makes fun of himself. Dude lives the party life, he doesn't train very hard. And he takes a lot of steroids. He looks better than he would if he was natural, 100%. But taking steroids alone won't make you Jay Cutler in his prime. It's just not going to happen. Let's talk about this study. Four groups. They had a group who didn't take steroids and train. A group who didn't take steroids and didn't train. Then they had a group who took steroids and trained. And a group who didn't take steroids and didn't train. So check this out. The group that didn't take steroids and trained made less gains than the group that took steroids and didn't train. Now they measured this with lean body mass. Are you seeing where I'm going here? If not, let me explain. But first, do you love my background? I'm in Costa Rica right now. It's how awesome this is. I can do this anywhere. It's a day we're not going on excursions and we're just kind of doing our thing. Uh, we've been white water rafting, went on this, what was it, 11 hours, Cami, 11 hours hiking, going to this waterfall. It was too, too crazy of a waterfall for us to actually go in the water. It's been an amazing trip, amazing trip, and we still got some to go. So what was this study? So there's some flaws. It was a 10-week study. The 10 weeks, well, it's, it's a decent duration, like, but we don't know what's going to happen with long-term use. There's obviously a cap, right? Like, well, nowadays with bodybuilders, I don't know. You got people walking around at like 320 in the off season. Nick Walker is a monster. He's a mutant. I mean, I, 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 there is a limit, right? We can, we can all agree there is a limit, but it was 10 weeks. Anybody here who's known anybody who has done a steroid cycle, who cycles. So what happens when you go on steroids? Well, you gain a ton of water weight. In fact, I knew a guy first time doing steroids. He gained like 30 pounds in two weeks. I'm not exaggerating. I've known people gain 10. I've known people gain 30. I've known people gain 40. It just depends. People blow up. But that's not contractile tissue. Your body can only put on so much contractile muscle tissue. What that is, is water. Intracellular glycogen, it fills you up, it bloats you. A lot of times these guys, these call it D-bowl face, their face would explode with a ton of water. And they look just puffy. And you can still see this in the bodybuilders in the off season. Not as much as you used to, but you see them like they go off, you know, they go on their, their bulking cycle and all of a sudden they gain like 20 pounds with 19 of it being in their face. So the way they measured the gains in this study is through measuring lean body mass. And lean body mass, a lot of people don't understand this. Lean body mass also includes fluid. So they're not measuring contractile tissue. Also, another thing, so you get guys like, you get older guys like me who are on TRT. It's like, well, all that's from TRT, all that's from TRT. TRT helps. It brings me personally up to the level I would be at if I was in my 20s. My testosterone total stays around 900 to 1100. I play with it a little. I'm on 150 milligrams a week. And I've been on that same dose since 2017. And in 2013, I did do a cycle, but I think we can all agree, cycle's probably still not working. It's been, what is that? What is that? 13, 23 plus, it's 12 years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still not riding that cycle. Did it cry, create some long-term gains? We know that steroids cause that long-term adaptation where your, your genetic potential is increased. We know that now with data. Whereas people, who, even if you take steroids once, you're still better than you would have been without steroids because steroids work. But you get people say, well, you know, it's the steroids, it's TRT. 
You guys want to know what the dosage was in this study? 600 milligrams. Put that in perspective, that's multiple times more than what I take. It's not a TRT dose. It's not a replacement dose. This is a hefty dose. Now, normally for first cycles, you see guys, well, back in the day, people would start out their first cycle would be 500 milligrams testosterone. And then the second cycle, they'd add in something like EQ or DECA. So it'd be 500, 500 test and then 250 EQ or DECA. And third cycle, they'd add in an oral. So you get test, DECA, same dose. Then you rock some D-Bowl or Anadrol. I'm not saying take those. I'm saying that's what it used to be. And then once you get to the pro level, it's like, okay, what can I fit in my body that goes in a needle? It is what it is. Nowadays, I see kids jumping on trend for the first cycle. That wasn't a thing when I started lifting. And recall that my first gym was Gold's Gym Venice. So I, I heard the stuff in the locker room. I, I talked to these guys, not, but they, they tell you, they, they were just honest. Like, people like bodybuilders lie. Well, they, they lie because they don't want to lose their job. And at that time, if you remember Christian Boving, do you guys remember Christian Boving? Beautiful guy, great friend of mine at the time. Beautiful meaning what a beautiful physique and a beautiful human being inside and out. I believe it was bigger, stronger, faster. He did the interview and he said, well, everyone's on steroids. He lost a lot of his sponsorships. So a lot of guys didn't talk openly about steroids because at the time, and it's changed, right? A lot of it has changed with social media. He lost his sponsorships. He probably lost at that time, five figures, six figures. I mean, he wasn't making, I'm sure he wasn't making like $2 million, but it was sizable income. It was enough to buy a nice car, pay his electric bill, that's for sure. So people didn't talk about their steroid use because you would get, as you kids would call it now, canceled. And nobody wants to lose sponsorships. We all got to eat. We all got to pay our bills. So this study, what it did show us, which I'm going to point out, steroids do work. Yes. And you will get better results when you take steroids and train versus when you don't take steroids and train. But you also have to understand there are long-term implications. So for example, I've known a lot of people who've taken steroids throughout my life. A lot of people. 99% of those people, and that's, a, that's an estimate, but it's probably dead on, actually still look like they work out. It's a fleeting moment. It's not a lifestyle. My question is, and I, I admit that when I took steroids in 2013, did that take years off my life? I'm doing my best to reverse that now, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So you need to weigh out, is it worth 5, 10, 20 pounds of contractile tissue that statistically speaking, you're not going to keep because you're just going to stop training once you have kids, get a job, or maybe you get an injury. Is that worth the sacrifice to be bigger at that moment in time? The answer is for most people, no, it's not. Now, you'll be like, well, you did it. I'm like, yeah, well, if you're going to a scared straight program, they don't get someone who's lived as a Mormon missionary to tell you not to do drugs. No, they get a hardcore drug user coming out telling you how they, you know, they had to, you know, uh, fillet other men for, for drug money. Like that's, that's how it is. So when people like me or anybody else, it's not being hypocritical. It's not saying do as I say, not as I do It's speaking from experience. Lucky for me. And I say this, I started bodybuilding after I had a career because I love the game because I love training. I was training anyway. I figured well, might as well go on stage. And so I never had to do it for money. I had money. It was fine. I had a job. I had a paycheck. I was good. But people who do it for me, you do what you can to pay the bills. And I will tell you this, if it meant putting food on the table for my family or living an extra 10 years, no question about it, I'm going to do what it takes to pay the bills. 100%. I'm sure 99% of you men in this comment section will say the same thing. So that's where you need to look. I don't know what bug that is, but, but it looks like it could eat me. And if a monkey takes my phone, you'll know what happened to this phone. There's, there's monkeys flying around here. So <clears throat> what, what I'm getting at, look, steroids work, period. But nothing works unless you do, and I mean it. And you, 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 I can name countless people from my history, from my past, who've taken a ton of steroids, didn't stick with it, and just fell off, and now they look like they never trained a day in their life. However... When you look at pro bodybuilders who retire and go on TRT and still look phenomenal, 
I saw a recent picture of Roly Winklar. He looks great. Jay Cutler still looks amazing. Ronnie Coleman without his injuries. I mean, even keep in mind, he had his injuries. Dude's still in better shape than every other 50, 60-year-old out there, right? Most. So I look at Stan Efforting, right? Like, these guys look amazing. But I think we need to weigh out the positives and the negatives. And that's, that's my message for the day. But yes, steroids do work. But I'm going to stick to the fact nothing works unless you do. This study had flaws, uh, but it did, it, it did lead us to create, conduct further studies. And hopefully they keep doing more studies because I like studies. They help direct me to where I want to go and where I want to take my life and, and how I can educate others. And it's fascinating just to learn about it. So anyway, guys, I want to tell you about a couple things. This is July 4th, okay? This is July 4th. Hey, Cammie, can you do me a quick favor? Can you bring me that bottle of pure blood? Okay, July 4th weekend, it's on the counter in the kitchen. Um, July 4th weekend is an amazing weekend because there are sales going on that you don't want to miss. Go to tigerfitness.com. They have a ton of supplements to choose from. Absolute, any category of supplements you want, tigerfitness.com, 10% off the entire site. Another option, if you are loyal to the Ambrosia Collective, Ambrosia has a sale on the 4th of July. Thank you, baby. Which gives you up to 25% off the entire site with different pricing tiers. So you spend more, you save more. Another brand, Clean Form Nutrition, which you can also buy at Tiger Fitness, cleanformnutrition.com has a 20% July 4th discount. So here's a product I want to tell you about that I take every single day. I travel with it. It is called Pure Blood. Now, during the pandemic, we found out a lot about blood clots and issues caused from whether the virus, the vaccine, whatever you think it came from. I also lost a good friend, Jerry Ward, to blood clots. One of the main ingredients to help prevent those, which is actually measured in the units called FUs, um, which is actually measured in the units to prevent blood clots, is natokinase. Now, the problem with most natokinase is it's just some random Chinese material that you don't even know where it came from. So with Pure Blood, we use, or Pure Blood, Clean Form uses, they use the Natiase, which is the EU standard, the European Union, which is very high stringent standards by an EU company. It's called Natiase. And I always say, if it doesn't have Natiase, you don't know what the hell's in the bottle. They say, well, that's not enough. Well, what if they posted a lab test for every single batch on their site as soon as it's created? So if you go to cleanformnutrition.com, they have an uh, actual lab test showing that this has more natokinase FU, same milligrams, but it's such an active version that the FUs are through the roof. And 10,800 is the sweet spot that studies have shown. More isn't worse, but 10,800, that's where you're good to go. Vitamin K2, which helps the calcium in your body go to where it needs to go, where it doesn't go to your arteries, it'll help your body. And then you got something called citrus bergamot. Now, the K2 is also the K2 vital, which is the patented form. And then you have citrus bergamot, HDL, LDL, lipids, all those helps improve all of those. So it has all three of those scientifically validated dosing. It's called Pure Blood by Clean Form Nutrition. And again, you go to tigerfitness.com, save 10% and buy everything you need. Go to cleanformnutrition.com, save 20%, get that, some Nula bars, which you can also buy at Tiger Fitness. And you got Ambrosia Collective. A lot of choices for you on July 4th. If I were you guys, man, if, I, if I'm like, I just want to get it all done at once, go to Tiger Fitness. They also carry Ambrosia. But you can also go to each one and buy your favorite supplements and save. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, greatly appreciate all your support. I will be enjoying my vacation. Hopefully you enjoy your summer. Um, kiss your family. Uh, hug your neighbors. And I appreciate you guys watching. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell. Remember, that's not a game.